all the world. At the moment we're actually getting two feeds off two channels, channel 35 and channel 38. You can see on the small screen with the laptop that we're actually on 38 on the um, SDR with a strong signal on it. Actually have the SDR using the IF as the uh, Texas Ranger 696F SSB as the receiving antenna for the SDR. Been a bit quiet all morning, but starting to pick up. Not sure on the clarity on the, of the audio, but sorry, I'm trying to push the envelope a bit here. I found using the SDR antenna as a separate antenna wasn't as good as actually using the IF of the uh, radio itself. See that signal on 38, it's just so strong. Well, I'm recording this mainly on my phone with good clarity. Uh, you can't see the TV, but I have that uh, recording on the computer which I'll mesh with this. Sorry, it's a bit Mickey Mouse, but yeah, we'll get it sorted out given time. 
but I'm finding they're feeding the IF of the radio into the SDR is definitely the way to go. Using console V3 with a couple four receivers set up, so they all I've got them set up so you can hear them any signal that comes onto any of those channels frequencies uh, will actually be able to be heard. At the moment, they're coming through the TV that's currently on the screen, and they're a bit muddy, not as clear as could be, but early days. have actually tried a few SDR programs and they all work pretty successfully. I am receiving on the base uh, frequency of uh, 27385 from the IF of the radio, but the actual IF frequency is 438.83. So up in VHF, if I go there, I get exactly the same results, except if I turn the channel selector on the radio, the display on the screen will actually follow the radio channels because it's actually tuning um, altering the IF. But I'll do that now, actually I'll change it. On three eight five. Oh, that's obviously not 38, it's... Oh, now I'm fo following, of course. Oh, it's 38. Well, if I tune here, you can see I'm moving the whole band as I adjust the radio um, channels. But when you're up here, you don't know what frequency you're on because it's showing the actual IF frequency. Actually, that's not channel 38 we're watching on the TV, I don't think, because 38, I've got it on the radio and it's different. Where is it? Hold on, I'm zoomed in too much. That must be about channel 26 or something down there. Because I can tell by that peak here that that's about um, channel 20, 
26 or 27 that's the peaks I get on channel 34 the noise on channel 34 which is always here and 35 is about here 38 somewhere around here Let's turn the gain up so I can see them. Yeah, it's probably 38 here or here. That's why I use it on the direct frequency because it seems to be the signal strength coming through and what have you is equivalent whether you use it here or down on the actual frequency. Not sure where that is, but I think there is a way to set SDR console so that um, I can actually receive on VHF, but set so I can see the actual frequency I just haven't worked it out or in some other programs I might be able to do it but I haven't got that far yet that's showing channel 38 on the radio but where it is in that band there is uh, yeah oh god why can't you see that oh wrong there Sorry, it's a bit distorted. I'm trying to get it from across the room. But I think you can get the idea. See those signals on there right across the band? No one can hide. Go the special channel, guys. Yeah, I'll find it. This is with $10 worth of equipment, by the way. Something I bought out of China about five or six years ago. Free delivery. A little um, uh, dongle. Which, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't quite see it, but anyway. Yeah, it's actually a TV dongle, this one. It's not, not a RTL SDR V3, which I'm using on HF for... Um, have the ham bands. This is just a one that works well on 27 megs and up. But yeah, it cost me ten dollars on eBay. You won't buy them for that now. They've gone up quite a bit since SDR has gotten um, pretty popular. If you want to get into it, buy the cheapest you can get experienced and then look around at the big dollar ones that are up hundreds of dollars and what have you yeah they're better but I've had pretty good successful results with the ten dollar ones although the console v3 one did cost me about 30 bucks at the time I think they've gone up to about 60 now get them from southeastern communications seems to keep them in stock makes a few bucks on them not a fortune so I think it's worthwhile buying from a local um, supplier. I also have a mini one which is about as big as a 20 cent coin. Works excellently on uh, VHF and UHF as well, even up to ADSB on the top of the aircraft bands on 1090 megahertz. So don't spend up big to start. Start small and then work your way up. Once you get used to the software, how to drive it, how to get Zadig to work, although you only need Zadig with um, RTL type uh, USB devices to set the drivers.
if you want plug and play, yeah, possibly buy RSP or SDR Play, whatever. But I think you get the picture. I'll stop this now. All the world 